In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to configure a writable LDAP server in the IBM developer portal. So the first step here is to ensure that your um, catalog for which you've got your developer portal for has the portal delegated user registry configured as um, the user registry. The next step is to configure the modules that you need. So to modules, And the modules you need are LDAP authentication, LDAP servers, and LDAP user, and save. The next step is to configure. Configuration, people, LDAP configuration, servers and here I need to add an LDAP server configuration. The first section I need to do is the connection settings tab. So choose a unique machine name I want this enabled and I want to use open LDAP alongside the LDAP server that I'm going to use. And this is the IP or domain name of my uh, LDAP server. And I know that I have created my LDAP server using uh, port 389. So that section is completed. I now need to fill in my binding method. And for this, I need to ensure that I've got service account bind enabled. And now I need to configure DN for non-anonymous search. And in this case, it is as so. And then just supply the password for my server. The next section is the LDAP user to Drupal user relationship. In this case, it is OU equals people and my specific domain name. Auth name attribute, email attribute, and the expression for user DN. All finished. I'm now going to add. So I now have a LDAP server configured and added. Before I go any further, I am now going to test my server. From the test page, we don't really need to put any of these um, values in here. Just click the test button here. And we can see that it, uh, using the settings I've given it, it's binding uh, successfully. Um, and so it's now worth going on to test, um, test and configure the rest of the, the LDAP setup. So configuration, people, LDAP, and now I want to go to three user. In the basic provisioning, I need to choose my LDAP server, which is the one that I configured previously, and I need that one. And to check that these two options have been enabled, create or sync to Drupal user on successful authentication with LDAP credentials, and create or sync to Drupal user anytime a Drupal user account is created or updated. Also checking that this has been enabled. So if there's a user account conflict, associate Drupal account with the LDAP entry. Also by default, the, the correct option here has been selected account creation settings at admin config people account settings do not affect LDAP associated Drupal accounts. And furthermore down here is to perform no action, but email lists of orphaned accounts and that is selected too. 
So the defaults um, for the last few options are correct. Now we need to um, do some of the mappings. Um, this is quite a lengthy process. Um, I'd advise um, referring to the Knowledge Center for the exact mappings. The first thing I am going to do though is just save. And by saving that, some of my mappings are automatically configured. So um, just to recap, do the, um, the, the original settings here by selecting your server, ensuring that the right options have been chosen, and then save. And so some of the mappings are already created for you. In this case, I just have to configure another uh, two settings given name and select that to first name and that's SN to last name and save those. I now have the provision from LDAP to Drupal mappings completed and now need to fill in the basic provisioning to LDAP settings and save again. Again, ensure that the LDAP server is selected and I need to select the create all sync to LDAP entry options here for my entry provisioning events. And now I have a large table uh, to configure here. So um, I'm just going to pause for a moment and I'll get my eight mappings created. I have my first four mappings created here and I need to uh, map another four. So save but down again and it's now after I've done that save has now created another four entries for me to fill in. In fact, I realize I've got just one more to do. So another save and then I'll just scroll down, finish up. And the last one is password use only. In fact, I think I've just done the wrong one there. And just modify that. Um, so that's all my settings um, mappings done. And now we've got one last thing to do, which is go to the authentication tab. And in the allowable authentications, I'm only going to allow LDAP authentication. Um, so previously I've allowed a mixed mode of Drupal authentication with whatever provider, um, but I'm only allowing uh, LDAP authentication now except for user one, which is the user I currently am, which is admin. And I'm going to also select my LDAP server. And down here, save. So all ready to try with my our first user. So now I'm logged out and I want to log in as a uh, new user. Create an account and my username is going to be Andre. And I am going to be Andre at example.com. Password. I finish off with my capture, create new account. I am now logged in um, as Andre and my organization is called Andre Example. Now I'm just going to hop over to my LDAP server and you can see I already have two users here called Bob and Mary, uh, prior users. And if I just refresh, I should now see, yes, I can now see my new user, Andre. 
and the values I was given previously are added. So if I log out Andre and log in and uh, this is a previous user that is on this LDAP server. So there you have it. Writable LDAP is now possible uh, in the developer portal by use of using the portal delegated user registry and by enabling the correct modules and configuration in the portal.